Do you enjoy aggressively sacrificing pieces? The Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Gambit is made for you. You sacrifice tons of material in the opening. But if successful, you're left with a 72% win rate. You will learn how to sacrifice a pawn, a knight, and a bishop, to build up your Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Attack that will leave your opponent's position in unorganized chaos and destruction. You can start by playing e4 and if they go d5, you can play knight f3. Now, usually they won't play d5, so if you want to make sure that you can play this opening, you can open with knight f3 and they'll likely go d5. Now you can play e4 and achieve the same position as earlier. They take and you attack the pawn like this. They intuitively try to defend it with their knight. You offer another pawn and they take it. You take back with the bishop. If you were the black pieces in this position, you'd be annoyed by that knight, correct? That's why most people play h6. Goodbye knight. Except that it's not goodbye knight. Take on f7, forking the queen and the rook. At this point, taking the knight seems like the only reasonable thing to do. And now it's over. Bishop to g6, a discovered attack on the queen. At the same time, the king is in check and forced to do any of these three moves and every single one of them is shattering. Black takes the bishop and you launch your intercontinental ballistic missile attack on the enemy queen. From here on, there's just one mistake that you should avoid. I'll show you what mistake I'm talking about. Winning from this position is very easy. You're up in material, Black's position is completely ruined and you're pressuring many pieces. That's the 72% win rate position I mentioned earlier. Only one thing can go wrong. If black pushes this pawn, don't take the bishop. Otherwise they can play bishop before, check and discovered attack on your queen. Now you're the fool. If you don't fall for this trap you should be able to win this position by yourself. If not, nobody can help you. But wait, look at this horribly grotesque position. If you're anything like me, this looks amazing to you. This guy right here is holding back 3 pawns. They're all isolated and here is another double pawn. Phenomenal. This is actually another outcome of the same gambit. The ICBM Gambit and this beautiful piece of disgusting trash are both results of the Tannison Gambit. Subscribe right now because I'll make a guide on that soon.